Neuralink is one of Elon Musk's strange and also futuristic companies. Um, it is developing neural interface technology, uh, or in other words, putting microchips into people's brains. Uh, the technology is intended to help study and treat neurological disorders. Uh, Elon Musk has said his goal is to achieve symbiosis between the human brain and artificial intelligence. Uh, Neuralink is creating a device that will be inserted into a person's brain where it could record and stimulate brain activity. Uh, they are creating two pieces of equipment to do this. Uh, the first involves implanting a chip with electrodes into someone's brain inside of their skull. Uh, the chip sits right behind the ear while the electrodes are then threaded into the brain. The chip will be about the size of a coin featuring a network of tiny wires that are each about 20 times thinner than a human hair, uh, fanning out from the chip into a person's brain. Uh, the wires have 1,024 electrodes that can be used to monitor brain activity and in theory, activate the brain electrically. Um, the chip wirelessly transmit this data to computers so that re researchers can study it. Uh, the second piece of equipment is a robot that could automatically implant the chip. Similar to a sewing machine, the robot would operate by forcing flexible wires coming from a Neuralink chip into a person's brain with a stiff needle. Uh, according to Elon Musk, this device could make implanting the electrodes for Neuralink as simple as LASIK eye surgery. So in 2020, Neuralink showed off one of its chips implanted into a pig named Gertrude. Uh, the device in Gertrude's brain transmitted live data during this demonstration as she kind of sniffed around. Uh, the demonstration was proof of concept to reveal how the chip could precisely predict the location of Gertrude's limbs as she walked on a treadmill and captured brain activity as the pig sniffed around for food. Uh, Neuralink then decided to take it a step further in 2021 when they showed a demonstration of a monkey playing video games with its mind. Um, they released a video of a ma uh, macaw a monkey named Pager uh, playing games like Pong uh, for smoothie prizes. Pager used a joystick that was not linked to the gaming system to play the games, which required him to use brain signals in combination with arm movements to operate the cursor. Uh, during a conference in December of 2021, Musk claimed that Neuralink was aiming to start human testing in 2022. Uh, there are about two months left here in 2022, and they have yet to actually do that. Um, FDA approval may be the cause of this delay. However, in 2019, he said the company planned to get a chip inside a human in 2020. And in 2020, he went on Joe Rogan's podcast and pushed it back to 2021. Uh, it is now closing in on the end of 2022, and the company has still yet to test the chips in humans. Uh, Elon Musk has said that progress will accelerate when they have devices in humans. Another reason why human testing may be delayed is due to safety reasons. Uh, one of the biggest key aspects is safety testing longevity, uh, as these chips will be implanted into someone's brain uh, practically forever. Uh, in order to test this on humans, the company would have to first verify some form of safe longevity in animals, uh, more specifically primates. Um, this isn't a process that you actually can accelerate, it's more something that is just kind of a waiting game. Uh, so Neuralink's improved neural interface technology may make it easier to diagnose and cure more serious neurological diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Uh, another use might be giving patients the ability to mentally operate robotic prosthetics. Um, a patient might be able to operate a prosthetic limb more precisely if the electrodes in their brain were to mimic 
the feeling of touch. Um, on July 29th in 2021, Neuralink announced that it had secured a $205 million Series C funding round from investors, uh, including Google Ventures. Um, during this announcement, they said the first commercial use of its chips could be to help quadriplegic people. Now, quadriplegia is partial or full paralysis in all four limbs. Uh, the primary use of this device will be to assist quadriplegics in regaining their digital mobility by allowing them to connect with their computers or phones in a natural and high bandwidth way. The funds from this round will be utilized to speed up research and development of future products and to sell Neuralink's first actual product. Um, Elon Musk has also claimed that Neuralink's technology might ultimately one day be used to combine artificial intelligence with human consciousness. Um, Elon often pairs the company up with his fears surrounding artificial intelligence. Um, in an interview with Lex Friedman a, a few years ago, he said, we will not be able to be smarter than a digital supercomputer. So therefore, if you cannot beat them, join them. Um, a lot of experts and analysts have expressed doubts and critiques about this project, saying that he's really not making anything new or game changing, um, rather just copy and pasting. But Elon Musk is a high level engineer. Uh, and is always looking at how to improve things from a engineering perspective. Um, Elon also seems to kind of feed off of people's doubt and criticism. So this actually could be a very good thing for the project. And we may actually see soon some sort of real world implementation. Um, actually next month on November 30th, Neuralink is scheduled to have another showcase for their new updates and advancements and kind of what they have been up to as far as Neuralink goes. So that should be very interesting to close out the year. Um, but I do hope you found some sort of value from this. Um, hopefully you learned something new that you didn't know before. Uh, be sure to drop me a comment on what you think of this whole Neuralink idea business that he's currently executing on. Uh, I would love to know what you think. Uh, also, be sure to leave a like and subscribe.